it might be a loud video today. It's windy outside. It's hailing. All those kind of things. Much apologies. I do want to talk about this, however. It's no secret that I'm a huge Goruck fan, and this is one of the granddaddies of Gorucks. It's not a review. Don't take this as a review. I've talked about the GR1 a ton on my channel, and uh, I will review this at some point when I've used it enough. But for now, um, there's one particular thing about this bag that I want to talk about, and we're going to talk about that today. Let's get into it. Just to explain, this is the Goruck GR1 Heritage 26 liter uh, in olive waxed canvas that came out uh, about two or three months ago. And yes, I was lucky enough to get one. Uh, this bag is absolutely lovely. It is basically a Goruck GR1 21 li uh, 26 liter, but it has one major difference aside from these lovely materials which you can see lovely materials. This wax canvas is just like unreal and there's leather and all that kind of stuff. But it has something that separates it from every other Goruck literally ever made. And I think it's a game changer. So we're gonna talk about it a little bit. Let's talk about a normal GR1. Now this is not really a normal GR1, it's the slick, but what I want to say applies to this. So normally with a GR1, basically what you have is you have a laptop compartment on the back one pocket here for like whatever you can throw into it and that's your quick access pocket so if you have anything you really want like like say for example if you want to put your keys in the quick access that means you also need to put your wallet you also need to put your blah 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 your headphones everything else and it's all in this one little chunk here which doesn't work for a lot of people now what people have been doing for time on end what people have been doing forever is basically what I do as well, which is open this top flap, open this top zipper, and then get into this pocket here for your quick access. So you can separate, say, keys and wallet, headphones and mask, whatever, however you want to do it. This has always been one of those things that it's fine normally, but if you have something big, and I'm going to show you on this one. So right now I have a camera cube in here. I shoot photography, I take a lot of photos. Camera cube is something that I tend to carry a lot. So let me show you. Oh, the zippers are nice. So what I have inside of the bag is my normal daily loadout. So this is a wire dot, which is a Goruck product that I love. Um, actually, there's gonna, because of what a viewer said, I'm gonna have a review on this coming up soon. And then I have this, which is one of my favorite like big camera cubes if I'm carrying a lot of gear. So this is the Dispatch large camera cube. I like this because camera cubes are normally made by camera companies or camera bag companies. This is made by a bag company and you can kind of feel the differences like nice YKK zippers, a very nice liner here which is like this 420D pack cloth. The, the materials are all much nicer to touch. So even though like on Dispatch's website you might see this and think it's very basic, it's just like a very solid, solid camera cube. Super recommend it. It also has a quick access that you can um, access here on the top, like so, to get out your camera if you want to or whatever. Uh, I tend to use this with uh, most of my bags if I'm carrying something large, like say like my Rolly Flex or something like that. And it fits perfectly well in this Goruck in the bottom here. It's like almost the exact fit of the bottom of the bag. But when I have it in there, like so. Now this front pocket is nearly impossible. Like it's, it's just like impossible to get down here. Ah, it's like a struggle to get down there. And everything would be like all over the place and then it starts making these like dents in the bag. I only have my keys in there and it's already a nightmare. Now with just my keys, it's not such a big deal because, and I'm gonna show you why I only have my keys right now. So as I said, Gorux only have those two pockets until this one. That's why this video is entitled The Pocket. Now, this is the first time ever that a Goruck has had a pocket here, as far as I know. And basically, they broke down and they gave us a quick access pocket right along here on the top of the bag and it is just epic 
and it has a very nice USA made YKK zipper, a storm flap on top. It unzips very smoothly. It opens like a taco. And uh, there is more than enough room in there for my AirPods, my wallet, and my EDC knife. And I still could easily have put a lot more stuff in there. Like, can you see my hand? You see that? My whole hand fits in there. I can like zip up my hand in there. Now what they've done is they've ditched the hydration bladder, hydration port, assuming that nobody's gonna use this bag for, you know, rucking. I know it's hard to see because of the lighting, but just imagine it's like this deep. And uh, this pocket is just, it's, it's a game changer for the GORUCK bags. There's always been a hydration port here, which has stopped the ability of being able to have this pocket here. So I so, so much very hope that this continues in other bags by GORUCK. Because for me, it's changed this, it changed the GR1 to be like a slightly annoying daily carry bag to like basically the perfect daily carry bag for me. And I'm sure for a lot of people and in traveling, oh my God, like when I traveled with the GR1 uh, slick, the one that looks like this, but the 26 liter, what happened to me was that this front pocket became unusable. And in order to get at anything like my keys or anything like that, that I had to go into the bag, open this up and then unzip here, which is fine. But now I can also do that and also have my essentials here. And if you know, while traveling or in daily life, you end up shoving stuff in weird places. Everything's organized at the beginning of the day. Everything's chaos at the end of the day. And this helps a lot with that. So what I end up doing with my own daily carry is in this pocket, I keep my mask and my sanitizer because I don't tend to need them as like frequently, either they're on or they're not on. And then I can zip this up and this pocket, this amazing new kind of like mouth of a pocket here. And the liner on this pocket is just like beautiful, like pack cloth. It feels really strong and intense. So again, I'll just show you. Easily slides in there. Knife easily slides in there. Easily slides in there. I mean, I could, I could also like put, like let's do this. So I'll show you. Sanitizer, sanitizer, in, mask, in. Like I could put my laptop charger in here if I wanted to. And what happens is that pocket goes here. So that's that pocket here. It's got this little kind of hang down thing, which is pretty common among bags in general. So yeah, that's basically it. All I wanted to talk about was this pocket. I know it's a weird video. I know it's not much to, you know, not a whole lot going on, but for me, like, holy cow, does this pocket ever make a gigantic difference in use? Oh, well, these things are going to stay in there because I'm taking this bag out now because I love it. A lot of people are reselling this bag. I'm not, I'm not going to resell this bag. This is like one of my favorite bags. It's just amazing. It was like one of the bags I wanted to buy for all oh, my focus is off. Um, yeah, so I mean this is just one of the bags I always wanted to buy and I'm so happy that I ended up with one and uh, This pocket is such a big bonus um, It's interesting to note that I've heard that scars is Possibly willing to add this to bags my focus Yes, is possibly willing to add this to bags. So if you have a bag that uh, uh, Like a slick or something and you want to add it I've heard it's easier on the slick because they don't have the hydration ports so if you want to add this to a bag, give it a go. They might be able to do it for you. Uh, like I said, a review of this coming up soon. Um, on the channel, I have uh, another GORUCK video coming up. Actually, another two GORUCK videos coming up. I mean, I love these guys. Their gear, always good. Um, a lot of people ask me about GORUCK and they say like, you know, like the company, um, it kind of gives an ethos that people are not down with. Look. The more you get to know the people at that company, the more you realize that they're just good people and they stand up for actually good things and uh, not even politically. I mean, just in general, I mean, like they stand up for the quality of their product. They fix things that are wrong. 
I heard it took them a long time to decide to put that pocket there because they're so careful about changing things that aren't broken. And honestly, they did an epic job with that pocket. I was so worried it was going to be tight, and it's just not. It's just very, very well designed. So Jason and all those guys at GoRock, good on you. Nice work on this one. And uh, that's it for today. Talk soon, kids. Bye-bye.